good morning. Welcome to The Simple Sober Life. I am Joshua Abel. I just finished up on my um, my little jog this morning. I um, went through most of the one minute increment jogs um, and it seems to be getting easier, which is awesome. Um, so hope uh, I guess that means I'm progressing, I'm improving a little bit, which feels great. Um, yeah, um, so I'm off to a good start this morning. Um, last night I did have to go to that um, alcohol class. Lasted four hours and I'm halfway through. So that is how I'm gonna look at it. I'm halfway done with that and on into getting um, my driver's license back. So I think it's going to be a pretty good day. Um, I don't really have anything planned until tonight when I have to go to another of those alcohol things. Um, but let's see here. I might get something creative done today. Um, yeah, I think I think so. Um, my parents are coming, are uh, still planning on coming in this weekend. So uh, my sister is kind of prepping for that and things like that. I got a couple of ingredients to make my very famous spinach artichoke dip on Friday. And I will make sure to do a video so that you can follow along and make it at home if you like spinach artichoke dip. Um, but yeah. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Today is 9-11. Now, I've never been to New York, um, so it doesn't have the, the impact on me that it does on a lot of other people. But uh, the way I experienced 9-11 was I had just moved to LA about um, three, uh, two or three weeks prior. I was 20 years old. I uh, got my first apartment in LA and I was actually getting ready that morning. Um, I'll never forget. I was getting ready for a job interview at the YMCA over in Burbank. And um, I didn't have a car or anything, so I had to walk. But as I was getting around, my roommate had the television on, which was kind of odd. He, he normally didn't have the TV on in the morning, but he had it on and um, the uh, we saw the, the tower on, on, on fire and everything. And, um, to be quite honest, I was a little, a little naive. I didn't even know what the, um, the, the world trade towers were. I had no idea what, what they were, or where they were or anything. Um, but he had said that a plane had hit the, uh, the first tower. And then, um, sure enough, shortly thereafter, we actually watched live. Ooh, I got a little little chill the second plane fly directly into the um the second tower and then um you know it kind of um we kind of knew what or suspected what was happening and then i went into my interview and um the person interviewing me the director of the child care center christy um we got to talk talking about it and none of us really had a lot of details or information about it and you know we were um you know, we just saw it as a, you know, tragedy and kind of went on with the interview. And then as more details came out, you know, we all started understanding what was happening. But the aftermath in uh, LA was, um, of course, all of the airports were shut down and um, uh, everything like that. But there are a lot of Middle Eastern people living in LA and just up the road from where I lived was a 7-Eleven and a Middle Eastern person ran it. And um, he would get such flack from, from people. Like they would um, discriminate against him and they would call him names and things like that. And it was really quite terrible to watch. And you know, all these news reports came out about other people of Middle Eastern descent getting, you know, just berated with um, disparaging comments and, and um, you know, uh, just hate. And it, it's a shame that out of the, uh, that tragedy, while so many people bonded together, others kind of threw their hate towards um, a, a, a minority group. So I hate to hear that. But if you experienced 9-11, um, you know, uh, my heart goes out to you, if you if, especially if you've lost anyone or, or anything in that tragedy. Um, but hug a fireman, hug a police officer, hug a first responder, 
today and hug your loved ones closer because, you know, uh, unfortunately, tragedy can happen at the spur of the moment. But I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're liking these videos, make sure to give them a thumbs up. Comment down below. Where were you on 9-11? What happened? How, how do you remember it? And subscribe. Hit that bell when you subscribe so you get notified of um, when I create a new video. And I will talk to you soon, hopefully maybe with a topic. Otherwise, um, uh, have a good one. <laughs> I just woke up from about an hour's long nap, which ugh, I'm going to miss that so much when I, when I have to start that new job next week. I absolutely love taking a nap in the middle of the day. And when I owned my own business and worked from home, it was so easy to do that. And, um, you know, even going into the restaurant uh, during the evenings, I was able to take a nap during the afternoon. It just helps me get refreshed and, and ready for the rest of the day. But, um, and you know, I only sleep, well, I sleep maybe five, six hours a night. And so it's nice to, you know, be able to catch up on, on that sleep during the afternoon. But I'm gonna have to say goodbye to that uh, starting next week. Um, and that's okay, that's okay. It's, I'm going to be uh, learning a new skill, a new trait. So that's the mindset I have to go in with and that's the mindset I have to keep. Um, I'm about an hour out before I have to head over to Shelby for those uh, alcohol classes and um, what we were talking about last night um, kind of hit home with me. I know I've been kind of dogging the classes, like, ugh, they're so boring, blah, blah, blah. And they are. They, they don't need to be four hours long to, to, to drive this stuff home. But um, I am getting a little bit of value out of it. Um, was the actual progression towards uh, being an alcoholic, towards alcoholism. And apparently there are four stages and they um, have uh, color coded them uh, from green to yellow to orange and then red being a full blown alcoholic. Last night we went through the green, yellow and red phases. And the difference in the progression is how the people actually treat alcohol. So in the green phase, it's very much a take it or leave it type attitude. And, you know, I've hung around people who have this attitude or towards alcohol. They'll go to a party or to a function. They may have one, one and a half um, drinks and just be able to leave it alone and, and that be it. Um, you know, their main focus isn't on drinking so much as it is on socializing and hanging out with friends and have, doing activities and things like that. And then it progresses into the yellow stage where alcohol becomes a little bit more predominant. Not too much, it's not over over the top or anything like that, but um, instead of having one or two drinks, they might do shots or, uh, thing, or something like that. Alcohol is a part of the event. It's actually um, incorporated into the event um, to make things more fun and things like that. And then orange is where alcohol actually becomes more of the focus. So if I'm at a party and there's alcohol, I'm more inclined to um, be drinking than socializing or actually doing the event. They use the um, example of going to a friend's house and watching a football game. So in the green phase, you know, people have maybe a beer or two on, on the coffee table and they're sitting there actually watching the game, talking to each other, having conversations, you know, rooting on the team and things like that. And then in the yellow stage, you um, actually, uh, they bring in a little bit more alcohol. Um, it, it's actually to, uh, you know, help um, uh, make the event more fun, I guess. Uh, but alcohol is definitely more of a, a, a factor. It's not the primary factor, but it's a factor of the event. And then in the orange phase, um, they showed people at that same um, the, uh, same uh, gathering in the kitchen. 
while the event was going on in the living room and people are taking shots and, and having drinks and, and doing that kind of thing while the game's going on in the other room. So alcohol is more of the predominant um, factor of, of, the so, uh, of the socialization. So that was kind of interesting. And um, I'm going through, I'm kind of ticking things off in my head. And um, I, I definitely know I, I'm not uh, in the green phase. <laughs> um, in fact, I don't know if I've ever been in the green phase. I think I may have been born in the yellow phase. I don't know. But, um, you know, I can definitely remember being able to go to an event and as long as alcohol was involved, I'd be socializing and things like that. And then I also remember um, going to events and making sure that alcohol was there. Whether or not it was provided, I would always have, you know, my own supply if I needed to have that. And so making alcohol that very, that very predominant element of, of socialization. And they talked about a bunch of other stuff, which I'll get into in, in another video. But um, yeah, I'm, I got to go there again tonight. Tonight's num number three of four. So I'm almost, I'm halfway done. Um, which feels good. It feels good. I'll be glad when I have, I'm able to put this behind me and move on to the next stage, which is, um, you know, saving up money to pay off the fine um, to the state <laughs> so that I can get my driver's license back and then also move forward and paying other things off. Um, but I hope you got value out of this. If you did, make sure to like this video, comment down below. Um, what stage are you in? Are you a green, yellow, orange? We're gonna learn about red tonight and I'm pretty much guaranteeing I'm probably gonna be in that group. In fact, I don't even have to speculate. I know I'm in that group. But um, yeah, also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Get uh, Hit that bell so you get notified each time I create a video and I will talk to you later. Have a fantastic day, my friends. Take care. I recently discovered this brand new thing online called Amazon. <laughs> and you can literally get anything you want delivered to you, your house in like two days. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> I know, I'm a little late to the party. So I've been getting things ready for my job uh, that starts next week on Monday. I had to get some, uh, some steel-toed boots. I have never worn these before. Um, I was going to go with a Timberland brand, but then I found these for about half the price and I looked over the reviews and they said they were pretty good as long as you got some insoles and some good socks. And these are Dickies, which, you know, they make a pretty durable brand, um, at least with uh, jeans and whatnot. So we'll see how those go. They are really heavy. Um, I'm going to build up some leg muscles with those suckers. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, hopefully they hold together and they're worth the money. Um, I also got some work socks, all-purpose work socks. Um, these are also by Dickies. I think I bought them at the same time. And um, hopefully they're, it helps with arch support because I've got a high arch. But in case not, <laughs> I went ahead and got heavy-duty insoles. Um, Man, I wish there was something fun in this box. Amazon really should. If you get like just stuff you use, they re should really throw in like some sort of toy or something, like a Happy Meal. Yeah, they should throw in uh, like a little toy like a Happy Meal. And then I also got some white t-shirts because the ones I have are absolutely disgusting. I've had them for several years. They're all yellowed and gross. So I'm gonna be throwing them away and breaking out some new v-neck undershirts.